You all probably know this set right here. The recently released Coruscant Guard Republic gunship set 75354. Lego did a great job overall of recreating the look of the in-universe vehicle. Us fans are certainly happy to get a gunship at all after 10 years of not having one on store shelf and getting a different legion than usual was pretty exciting too. Many people however criticized Lego for not getting all details accurate. For example this door should actually be split into two doors. This is where our designer Will Robinson stepped in and basically said thanks for the set, I'll take it from here. This Coruscant Guard gunship is a heavily modified version of the official set and was designed like I said by Will Robinson who built the Razor Quest set modification and the Bad Batch shuttle set modification that are both available at brickwall.toys as well. Now obviously not everything is bad or inaccurate with the set, but if you want that step up in quality, accuracy and detail, this model is definitely for you. And I'm gonna show you why. But before we get started, let me tell you about our web store www.brickwall.toys where you can find the instructions and parts list not only for the model I'm showing you today, but also for over 250 other incredible creations that were all designed by the highest skilled LEGO designers in the world. We hand test each creation and parts list have been checked for pricing and availability. So if you want to get started, visit www.breakpoint.toys or click the link in the description below. Now back to the video. First things first, this custom model uses 53% of the parts that come with the official set, which is really nice and the designer also made the regular Republic gunship color scheme that everyone loves and it even uses 43% of the parts that you get in the set. But let's come to the part that you all are probably waiting for if you clicked on this video and that is a side by side comparison of the official set and the custom model. You can clearly see that the custom model is much more accurate to the in-universe vehicle. The amount of studs showing on the outside has been reduced to a minimum and what strikes me the most is how narrow the custom model is compared to the set. Which is kind of funny because the set is actually the same width uh, when it comes to the fuselage but as you can see the doors not closing properly makes this ship a good bit wider compared to our model by Will which has a much more finished and aerodynamic look to it. It just feels much more narrow. You can also clearly see that when you look at both models from above or from the back. And from this view you can also see the improved proportions when you pay attention to the heat grills that are further up. Now while we're at the doors, I personally was looking forward to the official gunship set whenever I heard that it will be a Clone Wars design, because the main difference compared to the episode 2 version are the two closing doors on each side, which are supposed to be here, but LEGO went the lazier route and only gave the set one gigantic door, which might be more sturdy for play, but is totally inaccurate. This is where the custom model shines because we don't only get fully closing doors but they are also split into two as it's supposed to be. You can comfortably fit two to three minifigs inside and you even still have the front compartment that you can technically put stuff in. Same in the back where you still have the opening back hatch if you wanted to pretend that clones or maybe an ATRT jump out the back. We still have this movable turret here that was designed to be a little more accurate which is a nice touch. There's also room to put two minifigs in the dual cockpit of course. I used this OG Anakin minifig because he was in reach to demonstrate it here. The fig still has enough headroom to close the cockpit piece fully even with Anakin's wild hairstyle and both pilots still have a computer console in front of them to maneuver the ship around. And as you can see here the handle was removed to give the ship a smoother look. The white stripe reaches all the way down to the front of the model where you can find some really clever techniques for getting the black line in the middle and just generally the front of the model is really pleasing to look at. Especially again if you compare this section to the Lego set which ignored this detail completely and goes with the blockier design and sharper edges. The ball turrets in the front are still movable as you can see. I also really like that Will didn't ignore the fact that a Republic gunship has missiles openly shown at the top of the vessel and it kind of surprised me while building that LEGO left this detail out completely even though they left a space for it here which I found really weird, especially looking back at older gunship sets which all had at least something up here. Even this mini gunship set had a better depiction of the missiles here. The designer also reworked the missile launchers to give them a more intricate look and integrate the dark red color on top which was not possible with the set's design. To stay true to accuracy, Will also removed the stud shooters on the wings. And to demonstrate how sturdy this model is, you can see me handling it a bit rough here. I'd say it's maybe just a little more fragile than the official set, but apart from the removed handle, it definitely still has all the major grabbing points to swoosh this thing around. And you already saw it in the video, but in terms of play functions, you don't really lose anything here, except for the physical shooters. The designer Will and myself, we went through a couple of different techniques for certain areas on this model, 
to make it as enjoyable as possible and give you the best quality model possible while using most of the set's parts inventory. This gunship is definitely an eye catcher with its red color scheme and sets itself apart from all the gray and black and white that is otherwise so present in the Star Wars universe. As iconic as the regular colors of the Republic gunship are, I'm still generally an appreciative person when it comes to switching up popular designs and going for more niche and interesting ships and color schemes that help create stories in play and imagination outside of the main character arc. Anyways, if you want to upgrade your Coruscant Guard gunship set and give it a new life, visit www.brickworld.toys or click the link in the description below to get the instructions and parts list. As always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more custom creations that you can build for yourself. We're back with regular uploads now, so make sure you don't miss any of that. And we'll see you next time at Brickwall. Yeah.